Hi, my name is Trevor James Bond. I'm the Interim Head of Manuscripts, Archives, and Special Collections. In 2007 and 2008, we received grants from the Washington State Library to conserve and repair early modern books in our collections that were inadvertently damaged in the 1970s. This video will show you the techniques and procedures our conservation staff used to restore these glorious books to their former state. Hello, welcome to the Conservation Lab. My name is Jennifer Juros. I'm the conservator for MASK. Here are two of my conservation technicians. Hi, my name is Lisa Sickink. I'm a master's student studying English literature. Hello, I'm Michael Baum. I'm a graduate student studying fine art. We are about to walk you through the conservation process. Here are some various supplies and tools we use in book conservation. Here we have a variety of acid-free end papers, marbled papers, Japanese tissue papers, boards, and linen. Some of the tools that we use include various sized brushes, bone folders, micro spatulas, scalpels, and tweezers. We use a variety of archival adhesives including polyvinyl acetate, PVA for short, and a wheat starch which is cooked to create wheat paste. Here we have different types of Harmington goat skin that come in a variety of colors and sizes. The skins are archival friendly because they are tanned with vegetable dye rather than chemicals. The leather is used to cover the spine and corners of the case. Okay, so today we're going to be removing the covers and the end papers from the text block of this book. I started out by taking photographs and documenting its condition. Um, it's very simple to remove the case from the text block. We're going to use some wheat paste and apply this to the inside of the case to allow this moisture to help pull up these acidic yellow end papers. So essentially I'm just going to coat this with the paste, close it up, give it a couple minutes, and then I'll use my scalpel to remove the end papers from this case. Now that we've given the wheat paste time to transfer the moisture into these acidic end papers, I can open up the book and start to see some bubbling. Um, I also noticed that the first um, end paper is pulling this first page of the text block, so I can use my scalpel to help separate those two and to start to pull up this end paper. Once we have the text block out of the case, we, you can see the different stages of materials after it's been partially cleaned. Um, you can see here all the modern materials. In this case, it was covered with paper. There's a netting material on the inside of it. There's a layer of cardboard. Then here is the original leather and then the original adhesive used. This area has been fully cleaned and you can see the original cords and the original end band attachment. To clean the spine, we remove these, what we can pull up, we just pull up, and then we use the moisture transfer method to remove this in layers. Okay, so I'm doing a, a short demo on beveling boards. Uh, essentially, we have a archival uh, dense archival board that's called eternal board and we get these in large sheets we'll cut them down on our paper cutter um, to a rough cut size which is pretty close to the actual size of my text block that I'm working with the beveling or the rounding of the board here you can see allows the board to sit snugly and rest inside the shoulder of the text block which is going to allow us to attach it perfectly to the spine. Today we're going to be pairing leather. Um, there's two ways to do it. You pair the edges of the leather and then you pair the center. Now to do this you do it in small pieces going very gently up the edges. 
Now that we're done pairing the edges of the leather, we're going to pair the center using the Sharfix machine. With the fully paired leather piece, Lisa applies a PVA and wheat paste mixture to the leather, which is then pulled onto the spine. Here, Lisa uses a bone folder to adhere the leather to the spine. A band nipper is then used to define the cords of the book. She finishes by attaching the leather to the boards. This is the end result of this process. Here we're going to be attaching our marble papers to our case. I'm going to start out by taking a rough cut of marble paper and lining it up and marking where my leather corners and leather spine pieces are. From that point, I'm going to cut the marble paper down to a point where I can paste it down to the case. Here you can see I'm positioning the marble paper onto the case. I'm going to use those marks that were previously made to position the marble paper. Once that's completed, I'm going to use a bone folder to smooth out the marble paper to get any excess glue or air pockets out from underneath its surface. Once I've completed the paste down process, you can see my finished case. Here we're pasting down the end papers. First, apply the PVA mix in a fan pattern on the paste down page. Then, very carefully lift the page while closing the cover onto it. Using a bone folder, adhere the page to the board, being very careful not to tear the paper. Put wax paper in the paste down and put the book in the press. It must be centered in the press so that the pressure is evenly applied. The book is complete after 24 hours under weight. Thank you for watching us conserve early modern books. Our work allows researchers to utilize the collections in masks.